Hello, today we're going to take a look at how to review events that have been submitted for publication and how to get them published on the website. So here I am, and I'm in the back end of the WordPress site for the newspaper. And on my left side here, I'm going to go down to where it says events. I'm just going to click on the events part. Don't worry about the drop down menu there. And here we can see these are all events that have been published already. At the top we have different categories, all ones that are just mine, published events, pending, trash, and cornerstone content, which don't really have any of that. Pending is what we want to look at today. So we have three pending. These are ones that have been submitted, that have not been looked at yet, and that need to be approved. So we click on the pending, and we'll just focus on these. So there's only three here today, but I use this same technique, whether there's three or there's 30. I don't want to get rid of this page because it just takes me longer if I have to keep reloading the pending page. So what I do is I'm going to right click on this and open it in a new tab. And that's going to open a new tab at the top here. I'm just going to click over here and this will load the event. So I can go through, read it, make sure it actually is something for the town and it's not some sort of spam that's being uh, sent in, which we don't get much of. It does happen once in a while. And I see there's a contact here. Um, anything that's a link like this look this is actually an email address here so I'm gonna highlight this and once it highlights I can come up to my toolbar here and click on the insert link button and it recognizes that it's an email address and I just have to click on the apply button over here and now that's a hyperlink so inside the event that's automatically an email link if you scroll through you can review everything else the venue location all that stuff uh, people that do this often always have it done correctly so you don't have to review every single thing but it's good to make sure that all that stuff looks good and once it's done I just hit the publish button and while that's publishing I'm gonna go back to my other tab here and I can open up my next event so it's still publishing the first one but I can go look at the next one now and again here it is I have another one I need to make a link out of click on that everything else looks good it's done by the same people so I'm gonna assume everything else is also in place and then I come back let's do the last one here open that up and there's one more link there and just like that I hit publish again and we're done oh actually I see there's another link here so after it's done publishing I'm gonna let it refresh this is a website address I'm gonna highlight that as well click on the link make sure that it's a real link now and hit update and once I'm done I'm gonna go back to this page and when I click on pending again it's gonna refresh and there's gonna be nothing in my pending list and now all of my events if I go back to all here have published and I'm actually gonna reverse the date order here so we can see things that are more recent and we can see that has all been put in the correct order now and that is how we go ahead and publish events that have been submitted by people on the public facing part of the website and now if we go and open up the website we go to events and all these will now appear in our calendar and that's it that's how we publish events on the website